today we will look at some of the new features that we have introduced in the browser based web ui in the latest release 21c so let's log into the instance the first thing we will look at is the ability for the users to view the substitution variables that are defined within the instance navigate to the console select variables and notice that we have variables that are defined at the global level the core month the first variable is defined at the global level we have s karman which is defined at the application level and sd current month which is defined at the database level so you'll notice that we can view all the substitution variables defined across the applications and databases in a single instance in a single place users can edit these values as well next we will look at another feature that we have introduced which allows the developers to build their calculation scripts in an iterative manner this is an enhancement that a lot of our users have been asking for for quite some time navigate to the database inspector for an application navigate to scripts and users can define create and edit their calc scripts in this ui as the users are developing their calc scripts they can execute this calc script either in the foreground which means they can wait for the execution to complete or run it in the background in this example we will run this calc script in the background it runs it asynchronously and it creates a job if we navigate to the jobs ui it notice that it has executed this calc script and uh, completed successfully as well you can iteratively make changes to the calc script and execute them right from within the single ui instead of having to go to the jobs ui create a new job and execute the calc script another feature that we have added in this interface is the ability to search for calc functions alphabetically if you want to look for level members you can alphabetically select the function and use it easily within, within this editor this editor can of course be made more uh, visible by by closing out the outline navigator as well as the function navigator next we will look at execute report scripts users can navigate to the application database inspector navigate to scripts and they can define their report scripts here as well as execute them let's look at this sample report script here which gives me the sales for texas so users can define these report scripts and execute them right from within the ui and once the execution completes it provides the execution report to the user which the user can then download or print this actually runs asynchronously as well you can notice that a job is submitted for execution of the report script in a future release we will allow the ability for the users to execute these report scripts from within the jobs interface as well now we will look at another feature which allows the users to load multiple data files to an application from within a single job submission for this we'll navigate over to the jobs ui and create a new job load data we'll select the application in this case sample basic and choose the source as file now the users can execute multiple data load rule files to load the data into the application so in this example i'm going to load one text file which is data basic provide the rule file for it which is data dot rule i'm also going to load another data file which is data basic 500.txt which loads data for specific products there's a separate rule file defined for this so i'm going to use that one and i'm going to execute the process this should finish quickly yeah it finished loading the data so users can actually now look at the details for the execution as uh, for separate rule files shown separately this 
ability to load multiple rule files and multiple data files is available within cube designer as well so users can navigate to the cube designer click on load data choose the application in my case sample basic make sure the job type is load data and users can select data and then choose the data basic for example and choose the rule file as data dot rule similarly users can choose multiple data files and click ok to run the same, same data load process another feature is the improvements in the partitions ui we navigate to the applications we have three applications here just to mimic transparent partitions for example we have a sample total cube transparent partitions defined to sample east and sample west U users can define their partitions in the sample total cube the improvement that we have done here is the ability for the users to when they are defining areas to be able to use the outline navigator so in this example i can click on edit users don't have to necessarily type it but they can interactively work through the search mechanism to search for members within the outline and add the definition in the area so i can add the definitions like this click ok and now i can run the cell counts and i can be i can easily define these areas visually looking at the outline so that's how you can we have made improvements on the ui for defining partitions so that's it for the next release for space 21c thank you